everybody, my name is Karen Fire and welcome to Lost Ark. Today we're going to be looking at Makoko seeds. Now these little green plants you've probably seen everywhere and you've probably been like, oh I'll pick it up if I see it. However, they're absolutely scattered all over the Lost Ark so it is worth looking for them and picking them up. You might be questioning why should I even bother to do all of that and pick them up because there's loads of them, right? But they are actually worth having a look at when you get to a certain quest that takes place on a tiny little island called Tortuca or however you pronounce it, probably butchering it but this is going to start having effect in Makoko village after you're finished with everything in Lutera and on that island etc where you get to speak to an elder who is going to let you trade the seeds for some items and stuff like that so that is why that's going to be important if we check our adventure tab we can see collectibles and you can see you can collect all sorts of things here um, but the first one you'll ever do is going to be the seeds we're looking for and as you can see everywhere you'll learn more about the story when you do that certain island about them um, but yeah that's the kind of thing that goes on here so you can see how many i have picked up or not picked up in certain places Ideally you want to kind of pick up as much as you can as you go along of course you might miss things now and again because Actually, uh, you might need songs and stuff to actually unlock certain seed areas, etc And if you don't have the certain song then you ain't getting in there kind of thing But yeah, if you collect enough of these uh, seeds and stuff you can actually trade them in for the rewards as I was saying uh, at the Mokoko village elder that's what you'll do after you've done that whole mission anyway then you're allowed to be a report with him and trade with him etc so that is exactly how you would claim those and if you want to view the area it's right here village chief's home that's where his uh, stuff is there we go see mokoko seed reward totoma and that's where you can do the whole thing but yeah, you're gonna see the more seeds you get the more things you can trade for so for the 1000 reward going all the way up to 1000 seeds you can see at the very end i can get a really really pretty ship and i can also get lots of different things like transformations i can get a monument i can get different titles i can get different crew members you know i can get extra uh report rewards and uh you know all sorts of things you can see licenses uh, cards, stat increase, vitality increase, loads of things. And then if I was to go up a level, you can see I can get even more things. I can turn into a Makoko seed if I really wanted to. Or be called nice smelling. So there's that. <laughs> but yeah, that's the whole kind of thing you'll be able to get out of those. Um, if you do go seed collecting, you can get a bunch of cool stuff. Um, so it's definitely worth picking up and that's going to apply with pretty much anything else when it comes to collectibles like when you do what is it you do the adventurer's time at the end of completing an area you're going to get an ignea and that goes for anywhere you go to really um you'll get one but also with doing this adventurer's time which is absolutely worth doing um it does mean you have to very thoroughly complete areas but within doing that you get rewards itself so as you can see i got phoenix plumes cards more courage potions you can see i can get more cards stat increases emotes uh different uh reward reports structures for my stronghold which is going to give me different bonuses um if i put it up and set it up there and then of course the token and if i did complete all the areas and get a lot of tokens it would go into my collectibles again where it's going to have a bang on effect where i can get some more rewards and as you can see the more areas you uh, collect you can get different things like different mounts like a white scarab you can get a skiller you can get this awesome aura and much much more so everything kind of chains into each other and it can end up giving you something really really cool this is also how you would get um golden terrapian which is he looks awesome but yeah you would need to trade it with the person who does this stuff so yeah that's all to do with that and again the more things you do change into other things all of these have different awards just so you know uh, and you can look at them anytime what you can get 
Um, the life tree ones are also very important to go ahead and get. You tend to get these from completing the um, little purple quests that you get around the place. That's how you'll get your first life tree uh, leaves anyway. Um, and you can, can, of course, get different things in this as well. And it all, you know, chains into each other, as you can see. Different ones give different things, and that is kind of why they're worth doing. That's why I kind of wanted to talk to you about collectibles, especially when we start with Makoko seeds. Because, again, it's going to chain into each other, and you might as well start collecting while you're doing it, um, etc. So, yeah, they fly across all around the world. You get enough, you can collect some rewards, etc. This game is very rewarding, I'm not going to lie. You can get lots of things for lots of things, basically. Um, all of these different collectible areas, you see so many will give you different things. Even island tokens and stuff, completing islands. You can get yourself a new golden mount uh, for a turtle. You can even get a uh, ship skin for the turtle um, and more. So, yeah, that is a lot of information on Fernie. But yeah, I did want to start it off on the Makoko seeds because they are definitely worth having a look at. And if you're wondering, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where all the seeds are. Well, I would highly recommend looking at Papanika, which is a brilliant website, which has maps of every single area in Lost Ark. Just for example, I got it open right now, Papanika. We look at the starter island, it's going to show you everywhere everywhere <laughs> even inside some dungeons so let's have a look at uh let's have a look at yeah we'll have a look at over here because then we'll be able to see you can see all the different things right you can see all the seeds you can see all the stories um you could even see like all the triports etc and the elites um and then even in the dungeons you can see where things are in there if I was to go over here in Stormcry Grotto, you can see where I could go to get all the different seeds in here. And of course, it's going to tell you what you need to do as well in these places to get things. So in this dungeon in particular, you would have to kill all the slimes and the bats on the map to be able to get through to these seeds. And that's what I'm kind of talking about with seeds. Some seeds in the world have special requirements. So like especially in dungeons later on. They're going to require you to do different things. And there is a place in, I think it might be Log Hill. It might be. No, it might. Oh, no, right here, actually. You can see in this place to even get these Makoko seeds. You can see I need Song in a minute. So, um, yeah, I don't have that right now. But once I do, I can then go ahead and come back here and go and get those two seeds I'm missing. So, yeah, they have different. Uh, things that you need to do for different things even some of the stories have like time limits on which ones you can get in between um yeah and then even some parts to different stories as well you need to do so you can see if i want different things here i need to go and get different stories in another place and then come back to the other one so yeah it can get very confusing where you find different things different whatever and collectibles but there is a lot in this game and this website will definitely help you a lot and I highly recommend it um, if you're trying to find the collectibles to get those kind of rewards etc so yeah it's very very handy it shows you everywhere even the, even all the little tiny islands as well you can have a look at and all the places in the world that you can go to so it is very very nice that way yeah, keep an eye out for these lovely, gentle and pleasing aromas for your Makoko Sea points. It's also going to give you roster XP, which is nice. Which is this purple tab at the bottom of your screen that you're going to see that you can get XP for. So there you go, which of course would go into your roster. Where, if you have a look in here, if you haven't looked at here ever before, uh, you can go ahead and claim things in here to up your strength, dexterity, and uh, intelligence and whatever else and this could also chain into your virtues for certain things so certain rewards in here should give me different things as well there so it's worth having a look at and you see if I do go through it I could also get more rewards <laughs> like the higher level I go with the roster rewards I can get different things I could even get some nice pills for my stronghold, etc. I could even get some free crystals. So that's kind of nice. 
everything kind of chains into each other in this game it's very cool but i'll probably go into this more in another video like i'm not gonna go too deep into roster right now but yeah collections definitely have a go collecting as much things as you can on your way around it will make things a lot easier because you're going to go to all these different parts anyway um you might as well find the seeds there while you're at it and all of that so that's very very nice but yeah over and all uh with these adventure tomes they definitely give you a lot of things like i recently did the world boss caspiel for this one gives me wisdom you can see as well if you're looking for extra stats for your report and stuff like that um doing these will give you you know extra so i can get courage i can get charisma kindness and you can see if i pick up stories as well i can get that as well extra in there and all different things it's also going to tell me if i've completed dungeons or not in the area picked up vistas as well and then you can also collect food items also in here and lots of different bits and bobs uh, you can go ahead and pick up you can see in here actually i haven't claimed it yet i can get some extra charisma from a potion here and that's gonna help go towards my charisma as well as vitality um i even got a card of the uh boss of the area so there we go let go ahead and claim that see i got a nice level up as well while i did that hey there you go but xp <laughs> that was a roster level up i believe so there we go Good to pick up, good to check. If you've never seen it before, start looking at it. <laughs> what can I say? It's very good stuff. Uh, definitely get it yourself into it and stuff like that. But anyway, thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.